The most common calculation you create in SAP Analytics Cloud is probably the calculated measure. With calculated measures, you have a wide range of possibilities to create individual measures. I created an empty number chart and now let's go to add measure, click on create calculation and calculated measure. In this new window, we are offered many options. There are several functions, conditions and operators, but a better way to learn more about these option is to click into the formula window and press Ctrl and the spacebar on your keyboard. Thereby a little info box opens where a short description for each function appears with helpful examples. When you scroll down the list of functions until the end, the measures of your dataset appear. In order to create a calculation, you can also type in the name of your measure. I want to search for profit and divide it by sales. Let's call this calculation ROS for return on sales and click on OK. This type of calculation is a typical one in SAC. However, I expected a percentage value, so plus zero is not what I wanted. Let's click on these three little points of our new measure and go to Format. Here I want to change the scale to percentage, however, it is grayed out. First I have to deselect the option Use unit of underlying measure and then I can change it to percentage. When I use percentages, I usually want to have one decimal place. If that doesn't work, then it could be that your chart itself is already formatted to zero decimal places. So let's go to the styling tab, scroll down and adjust the decimal places once again. Another interesting example with a calculated measure is to calculate the share. I copy and paste our first chart with Ctrl C and Ctrl V, make it a little bit larger and duplicate the existing ROS measure. This time I want to calculate the share of sales. To do this, the function percentage grand total is helpful. If you are not sure how to configure it, please read the little info box. The only thing we have to do is to select sales as a measure within the brackets and finally rename it. Without selecting any dimension, the sales share is of course at 100%. If we select a dimension, we now get the shares for each market. So I hope this inspires you to create your own calculated measure and improve the dashboard experience for yourself and your users. If you want to learn all details in building highly effective dashboards, then please check out my SAC Masterclass on Udemy. Follow the link in the description and thanks for watching this video.